James, um, obviously with the bikes around here now, does that get you in the mood? Do you think I want to get back on them and have a go yourself at this? Well, I, I was never, I was never that fussed about jumping on one round round the TT course, but uh, um, uh, yeah, I do miss it. Um, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of admiration for people that go around here at 130 mile an hour. Especially my old mate John McGuinness, he's a, an old teammate of mine, and uh, uh, all credit to him, he's, uh, he's phenomenal around here. But uh, um, yeah, the, the wrist unfortunately is no good. Uh, I can't bend it and, it, and it stopped me from racing. But um, uh, it's, it's onwards and upwards. I'm doing a lot with the music now, which is great. And that's what I want to talk about because you're, you're playing here on the Isle of Man a couple of gigs, one in TT weekend, one for your charity. Yeah, uh, tomorrow night we're at the Villa Marina, uh, which I'm really looking forward to with the band. Uh, and then on the 28th of, of July, uh, we're on the uh, the Cancer Trust for, for a charity ball there. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the both of them, the band is as well, and they've come over from the UK and uh, it's like a mini European tour. <laughs> And, and this doesn't affect you. You can still play the old piano. Completely. Yeah, I play. I sing a little bit more now, um, but because it, it is a little bit uncomfortable when I play. But uh, uh, mainly, it's just singing. Okay. Can I ask you, uh, you know, about the forthcoming marriage? Are you going to live in the Isle of Man? Um, I don't know because Kate is really uh, um, based in London with her music, and it, it, she's she's got to be there for her job really. Um, but I'll always have a base here. Um, I've been here for nearly eight years now, and it's it's been a fantastic time, uh, and I've got a lot of friends here. Um, so you know, I, it, whether I'll be coming in between, uh, I'll probably be based in London quite a lot with her, um, but I'll certainly be back here uh, on a regular basis. Is it going to be a bit of a posh and Becks affair? <laughs> well, I ain't posh. <laughs> and she ain't back, so <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but it's going to get quite a media scrum, isn't it? A lot of interest in you still. Uh, yeah, but Kate is really private. You know, yeah. she's a really private person, and she she only does it for the music. She loves playing, um, and I, I I respect her for that. You know, and uh, so so life's pretty quiet. You know, we, she can put her hair down and, uh, and and walk around town and not get noticed, and uh, uh, and I can do the same. You know, it's only at motorcycle events where you get noticed, kind of thing. So um, now we've got a pretty normal life to consider in her profile. Ali, um, obviously very delighted to have James Toesland on side, aren't you, for this event? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously James is our patron for Manx Cancer Help, so um, fabulous guy, very supportive of the charity, so it's going to be a really good event. I know you've got SCS on board, in fact you're having it out at their big uh, place, and, and you've got lots of other sponsors, but are you all sorted out? We're not yet, we've got... Um, Obviously, Stuart Clegg Services at Ballonet Estate on their estate and G4S are kindly doing all the security. Um, we are looking for a major sponsor or a couple of other sponsors um, in order for us to raise money, a substantial amount on, on the night. Okay, well, details on screen. If people want to get in touch, they, they, you'd be delighted to hear from them. Absolutely. Um, if they want tickets or tables, uh, they can contact me or details about sponsorship on 679544 or they can email me ali at manxcancerhelp.org.